Many settings and accessibility functions and features exist on Chromebooks. In this series, we're going to dive into how they can support student learning. The touchpad on a Chromebook can be a tricky environment. And there are some things that we can do um, besides obviously giving kids time to practice with it and giving them also specific lessons about the touchpad and how, for example, a two finger tap is the right click, which opens up entire worlds of context menus and things like that for kids. But additionally, there are just some settings that we can look at on the Chromebook to kind of change up the touchpad a little bit. So let's head down to our clock and click on it and come into the system menu. And this time let's head straight up to the settings gear up here at the top. From here, we wanna head over to the left-hand side to device. And from there, we can select touchpad. So now if you just take a look at what's possible here. You can see enable tap to click is turned on. That can be turned on and off. So these are all things that you can experiment with and see what you enjoy better as a user if you're the teacher and then work with your students to figure out what they like. Enabling tap dragging is an option. Enabling touchpad acceleration is an option. One thing that I've done for my students, especially my younger learners, is I've turned the touchpad speed down. And that helps, especially if you've got kids that are clicking and dragging and things are kind of going all over the place. Um, when I've been working with students with graphics on a page and in a book creator app or Google Slides, for example, sometimes the touchpad um, with students that have underdeveloped fine motor skills can be a real challenge. So just be aware that all of these settings are in here. They're definitely ones that you need to come in and explore and feel for yourself so that you get a sense of what it does. And then once you've done that, do that with your kids. Take the time to spend, you know, 15 minutes exploring the touchpad or maybe five minutes exploring the touchpad, but that way they can get a sense of what's going to work best for them in order for it to not be a frustrating environment. And just one last note, and that is I have absolutely taken an actual physical mouse. Sometimes it's a wireless one. Sometimes it's just an old fashioned USB mouse with a cord and plugged it into the side of a Chrome book and it has helped both adults and children with whom I've worked to be more successful. So if that's a possibility for you, you might consider that as well because that can be just a wonderful additional accessibility feature that we can plug right into the Chromebook and make kids feel more successful and in control. <music>